we're going to give you one of the Birthing Better eBooks called Working with Pain. Childbirth pain for those who labor is quite a unique pain. On the one hand, it rises, falls, tends to go away between the contractions, unless you have back labor, which tends to nag all the time and you barely feel the uterus contract. However, those people who are having non-laboring cesarean often feel pain and discomfort after the birth. And all of us as pregnant women have moments of pain and discomfort when we're pregnant. And the reality is, as humans, we have to learn to work with pain. Our reaction, our instinct to pain, if you put your hand on a hot stove, is to pull it back. And that creates tension. Another way that we react to pain, for instance, women who've had intense menstrual cramps, is to just curl up in a ball and to be very, very passive. That's another way of dealing with pain. Some people cry. Some people are quiet. Some people scream. Some people look just stunned and shocked. However, birth is unique. And what Birthing Better families discovered in the early 1970s, and we continued to grow the skills that we developed, was that you actually had to work with pain. You had to acknowledge it was there. You had to trust that the likelihood is that it was going to be there during the birth, which meant that you had to have the skills to cope with it. You can use different words. We use cope with the pain, work with the pain, <laughs> deal with the pain, handle the pain, stay on top of the pain, stay in control of the pain. If you like the word rushes instead of contractions, waves instead of rushes, whatever you want to use. The fact is, is that childbirth pain can be incredibly intense. And one of the things we learned, women tend to view birth as contractions weren't painful, and I was able to manage them, to contractions got more painful, it was hard to manage, to contractions got really intense, and I didn't manage. That tells us in the language we use to one another is that we lack sufficient skills to continue to manage or cope with the pain. It takes hard work. It actually takes a choice to choose in your mind to use skills to cope with pain that is very, very intense and that can make you feel as though you're going to die. And what do women after their first births learn? I need to relax better. I need to breathe better. I know I'm going to survive this. But when you get into the labor again and it gets that intense, it really feels like it's going to break you open. And thankfully, after your cervix dilates, the pain lessens. Sometimes you have a ring of fire, but mostly the pain just lessens because we're not stretching open this diaphragm to that big. It's like stretching your rectum open to that big. That would hurt. Or for men, it's like stretching the hole in your penis that big. That would hurt. So we're going to give you one of the Birthing Better eBooks so that you can learn more about the skills that we developed to work with the natural occurring pain of labor or to work with any pain that you have. We have a lot of fathers who get tattoos who say they use this information to deal with the pain of getting a tattoo. That's good. <laughs>